Hello and welcome to today's video. I've been uh, sick for the last few days, so you'll have to excuse my voice. Um, so I've got a customer who is looking for a UMOC 445 uh, programmed for an AC24 motor and an AC GTX20 motor. Um, the GTX20 motor is in a selector of force, which is a 156 volt system, and the other motor is going into a conversion he's doing, uh, which he wants to run up to about 200 volts. He hasn't decided yet. And I was like, oh, well, I've got this one weird oddball UMOC 445 T-S, which is set up for 144 volts with a 200 volt max, which means it's got the low voltage uh, power supply winding in it, because these are typically... Um, you know, the minimum voltage is typically around 200 volts, so this would work perfectly fine. And you can see that it's it's set up for an AC10 motor or an AC18 motor. Uh, it's only putting out 9 kilowatts max, nominal is only 7 kilowatts, so it's been neutered. But, you know, it's a UMOC 445, which, according to the model number, should be, you know, 400 amps, up to 450 volts. So... Yeah, uh, it'd be interesting. We'll have to open it up, make sure it actually has high power parts. That was one of the things that he was uh, worried about. And um, the interesting thing is, I, uh, I'm not sure how I got this controller. I don't know if I got it in a trade or I purchased it because it was 144 volt and that's what my truck runs at. But I've never used it and I've never hooked it up. Well, I hooked it up today. It does work. Um, it's very odd. Uh, so I, I haven't even hooked up my... Uh, control box to it and I've got the uh, motor unplugged I've got power coming into it from this uh, battery over here because <clears throat> the UMOC drives require external 12 volts which is kind of funny because that literally doesn't power anything it just turns on an optocoupler which it derives its supply from the high voltage anyway so I always thought that was really weird oh it does use it to power the fans though but I've got that unplugged um, so, I went ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and flip it, power it up here. So, everything's unplugged, right? And it comes up, Selectria Sensorless Auxiliary Controller, 440, Wednesday, September 9th, and 1998. And without touching anything, even with the box unplugged, um, it actually starts spinning the motor on its own, which has scared the crap out of me. But, uh, so I've just got power on, and any second now the contactor will click on on its own. It's like a ghost drive. There it goes. And it starts spinning. But of course, that's not the right motor, so I, I go ahead and kill power to it really quick. But holy cow, that, uh, that definitely, uh, scared me because I wasn't expecting with nothing hooked up to it. So it's uh, it's apparently spooling up whatever this uh, AC10 motor was up to um, 900 RPM. Uh, my guess is this ran <clears throat> some kind of auxiliary uh, power steering, um, possibly air conditioning, possibly both. I mean, nine or what is it, seven kilowatts is a lot of energy to go into auxiliary but it it lists as an auxiliary Selectria centerless auxiliary controller 440 Wednesday September 9th 1998 configuration zero so yeah um, it's definitely interesting <laughs> so not quite sure what I am going to do with that to actually get this to work it seems like I would need to load new firmware into it. I guess the first thing I need to do is open it up and see if it actually has the high power parts in it. I would assume it does, but that's probably not a good assumption since it's obviously got different code running in it. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll send this video to the customer and see what he thinks. <laughs> Thanks for watching.